Gonzalez is still playing heads of basketball here for the minutes that he has been used by Coach Louis Alas. Sinabi mo nga ng first quarter, magandang hugot yan, Coach Louis Alas. No, he's yeah. got, he put him in early in the first quarter, played well, and he's continuing to play well. Samantana, foul called on John Arigo, pag-apat niyan. Alam mo, Ed, if we go back to our pre-game, yung barometer natin na 80 points, right. I doubt Alaska would hit that unless they get a miracle of scoring 33 points here in this ha in this quarter. I mean, it's been done before. But if you look at the, what's happened in the past couple of quarters, mukhang mahihirapan sila. But as sabi natin, 80 points na yan, actually for both squads. So, oh. uh, seems to be the magic number. They usually win when they Family. score 81 points or more. Pero mukhang nangyari, magiging 80 combined turnovers and dominant turnovers <laughs> na parehong teams. But after the third quarter, Alaska had already uh, compiled 22 turnovers. Ouch! And their average is 19, huh? and that's uh, only in three quarters. The 19 is in a whole game. And the loose ball goes to Jerome Ejercito. Again, Mobiline is running, threading the needle. Jerome Ejercito in a tight situation. But a deep maso cantira. Kenneth Rendez off to Eric Reyes. Eric Reyes looking at Ali Peak. But he didn't pass it on. Kenneth Durandes got away from the Hersito. Ooh, beautiful move by Captain Barbell. When he did the right thing, he knew Hersito was gambling on that pass. Uh -huh. Quick spin and took it strong to the hoop. And once again, the Alaska Aces um, close the gap. Down to a six point lead from Mobiline. And Hersito running into the defense. Jerry Codinero up line. Aliado for his rebound. Now it was. Kenneth Durendez looking to go on the Yes! Apat na lang, mga kaibigan. Apat na lang. Beautiful move there by Captain Marbell using the rim to deflect the defensive efforts of Don Camaso. Nabagit natin nung uh, halftime break, TJ, na itong uh, Alaska Aces, you can't count them out because they can be on an explosive team. It just takes one nudge. No? But oh. when, they, when they press the right button, eh, parang automatic na eh. Well, you're still looking at an Alaska team who's the defending champions here in Correct. the All-Filipino oh. Cup. Amidst that it's a different core, Oy. they still have the guys who have a lot of championship experience like Kenneth Duremdes and Rodney Santos. They put Eric Reyes on Norman Gonzalez. Gonzalez goes base and I to the hook. He didn't only go baseline but ran all over it. He went on the baseline. <laughs> he went on the baseline. <laughs> Nine minutes, 51 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Ayuno, the book fell in. Slow-mo brought to you by PLDT Text 135. If you can't say it, text it. Go free activation, call 171. Durandes takes it inside and drew the foul. Well, Alamot, it's been an interesting gamble here for the lineup of Coach Tim Cohn. He has Duremdes and Arrigo on the court at the same time, which means si Duremdes ngayon ang nagpo-point guard. Tinanggap na natong si Coach Tim Cohn na masama nga yung naroon ni Rodney Santos. Hindi na niya pipilitin pa, no? So he's really looking at the efforts of Kenneth Duremdes, which what happened was the point guard of Mobren has to guard him, and that's why he's posting him up. All right. Ito ngayon, eh... Pinakamalapit na ito na uh, inabot ng Alaska no? in uh, this game for a very long time. Or in a very long time. But uh, tinan natin kung matatapyas yan ni Kenneth Remdes down to two. Yes. So, so far so good. This gamble has worked of not having a legit point guard on the court for the Aces. Yes, it has brought down the lead to two. And Alejandro Pudigan mag-ibisat ng fourth quarter. Walo ang abante the mobile line phone house you double line you're trying to shake off james Watkins. pablo out to ahead of the line and pablo gets it back norman gonzalez <laughs> practically <laughs> signaling for a pass didn't get it that was a pablo against uh, aliado and uh, the illegal defense call on james Watkins. Yep. so technical all right Tumahin naman natin ito ating CMG swipe of the game on that pass by John Arrigo as uh, Don Camaso breaks away with one of his uh, several uh, breakaways. You just saw the CMG swipe of the game from CMG, a provider of life insurance, pension, education plans, and the CMG health 
swipe card. The last three is a technical free throw, and Bobby Lyon is up by three. Siyam na minuto, apat na sandali po ang nalalabi dito sa larong ito. Gonzalez to Babylonia. Patrick Fran. Off to Babylonia, to Big Pablo at the corner. Yeah. Maganda na ikot ng bola ng Bobby Lyon. Good patience. But when you have shots like that in the corner, by Vic Pablo and the guy passing the ball to him is Gitobo Bologna. You don't have any rebounders anymore inside. Ari to Reyes si Bologna. Ari go. Eric Reyes on to James Watford. A lot of ball movement here by Reyes. Get it to Reyes. Reyes in. The PLD T long distance shot. At the Blumenau at 56 all. Last time we were tied was at eight all. Wow. And it was another one Gonzalez against Eric Reyes. Tatlo na kabantay sa kanya. Dalabas kay Jerome Mejercito. Uy! Ah, bakit? He's looking for a foul there. And the bench of Bobinan appealing to the referees to call the foul. Well, we look at Didn't the replay here. James Walker is charging right at him. I don't know. It there was some contact, but the problem, I'm sure, is that Jerome could have actually gone straight up. But for me, was I mean, he went towards the direction of what is the competition that initiated the contact. Tied ball game, folks. Fifty-six all. A shade under eight minutes to go. Kenneth Duremdes has been instrumental in the comeback of Alaska. Arrive! Another PLDT long distance shot from Alaska, and they couldn't hit any of those in the first three quarters. Oh. Parker, voila! Except for Arrigo hitting a three-pointer back in the third, but aside from that, zero. Oh, that is a big Pablo. Whoa! Super good to see him by Arrigo from behind. Labang ang Alaska na tatlo, 59-56. Last time they had the lead was back in the first quarter. And it does again of the Nembes. Remember Alaska looking for its third straight win. Uy, nakawala si Aliado! Well, he gambled for the steal from behind. No, that's something that actually they have been successful all throughout this game. But not that time. And what a big 14 to 1 run by the Aces. As uh, sinasabi nga nila sa Bobex, ano, ah, sa isang kisap mata, mm -hmm. mga kaibigan, kanina-kanina lamang, eh, lamang na lamang itong mobile line phone pals. Oh, and coming off a timeout, it's surprising that you would opt for an isolation play to Patrick Fran, who has not scored in this game. Right. Five-point lead now by the Alaska Aces. Six minutes and 35 seconds to go. John Arrigo. Three seconds to shoot for the Aces. And it's Remde step back. Wala. Pero na po ni Walkers. Yeah, biglang tinigay. Nagulat. Nagulat si Walkers. Oh, steal by Kenneth Remde. Aba, offside po yun. Magkakaagaw ni Kenneth Remde over the ball. And it's back. But in the last three minutes, that big run by the Aces. Five out of seven from the field. The phone pass, zero out of six. That's brought to you by QuickTime. The only one blue technology by LockTime. So Madonna may foul on Bong Ravenna. So Madonna, Jericho Dinier is brought back in for Guido Babylonia. As you saw that three-point shot on the slow-mo brought to you by PLDT Text 135. If you can't say, text it for free activation call 171. Alam niyo mo kanina, yan si John Arrigo. Eh, halos hindi baka sipat na maganda galing sa labas. Pero dito, nagkakakanaan uh, itong Alaska Aces si Kenneth Duremdes. Nakatira na ng tres. 61-56, five-point lead by Alaska. Hindi po ako nagkakamali. Alaska na po, baka nawala kayo kanina. Sabi ko, hindi, mali, oh, mobilan na lumang dyan. Bong Ravena. Ravena. Yeah. Back to bread and butter for the phone pass. Now, one thing that they've been doing well, aside from getting steals in transition, is posting up their small men. 
like Bonavena here. I mean, it's not an easy task to post up against Kenneth Durendes, but in that play, in Aenya, plus a foul. Uh, Bonavena uh, actually uh, came in uh, some minutes ago, but uh, has not really hit his stride, no? but uh, this could be a start. As I've been looking, no? uh, those averages uh, certainly can be improved. Oh, yeah. Alam naman natin ang kapasidad dito si Bongrabene. However, he misses the bonus shot. Still a three-point lead for Alaska. At si Bongrabene tatawagan ng push. His second personal foul. Samantala, tunghayan natin itong No Fear Slam na napili natin para sa inyo mga kaibigan para sa larong ito. We had several, but this is the one. Big Pablo, what a slam jam, and oh, fear slam. Face your fears, live your dreams. Ali Peak. Baba kay Jerry Codinera. Pilipilit. Arigo! It's all here too, though. Ah, dos lang pa yun. Tumapak siguro, no? Yung lalaki na ang dito sa linya. <laughs> nakita mo pa yun ha? Ah, mo. <laughs> 63 to 58 yun ang pinapatay mo yung nilalaki ni Jan Rico Bong Ravenna kicks it out Patrick Grant Camaso is open aba medyo na wala si Don Camaso no ha Bong Ravenna ayun nakabingwit nanahimik ng si Don Camaso and it's a time yeah. naman for Bong Ravenna to be aggressive inside he'll have to make sure of those free throws though so dalawa para kay Bong Ravenna With your permission, Apala TJ, I'd like to thank uh, our friends, no, who uh, came out to support uh, my family. Uh, as uh, you mentioned, uh, the, you guys mentioned, uh, we lost our father, my, my sisters and I. Lost our father last week. Salamat po na marami sa mga nagpadala ng kanilang pakikiramay at sa pagsuporta. Thank you very much. Four minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Dito po sa ating fourth and final quarter, Bong Ravenna at the line. Ito na, pinaba na naman ng uh, mobile na kalamangan ng Alaska, down to 3, and 63 to 60. Here's Kenneth Durandez. Uy! Nakapit ka palabas. Ball will stay with the Aces with 9 seconds on their shot clock. 9 seconds to shoot. At 1,020 second, second time timeout to uh, Coach Tim Cohn ng Alaska. We have 4 minutes and 29 seconds uh, remaining. Eh. Dito po sa ating uh, larong ito ng Alaska Aces at the Mobiline Phone Pals. And as expected, game's heating up. Time for a break with Ice Cold Sun Meg Light. Only 12.50 at a store near you. Well, this time around, it's an interesting matchup between the both coaches. Now, what do they do now in the last couple of minutes of this game for Coach Tim Cohn? He caught, his team caught up with a couple of turnovers that they forced in Mobiline and they had some transition baskets. Also, they're starting to hit their outside shots. Now it's opened up the defense of uh, Mobiline. Option is to go to this guy, Ali Peak. Now that the defense has opened up, maybe you can bounce it inside again, which is really your initial mismatch against the phone pass. Well, ang problema kasi kanina, no first quarter, ano ha? Ni isang outside shot, walang pumasok para sa Alaska. Kaya ang sikip ng defense ng phone pass. Pero ngayon nga, sabi mo, medyo nag-uubisa ng mga sipat dito mga taga-Alaska sa labas. Ayun pa rin. So, Kenneth Durendez. Ayun pa rin, no? Continuing to hit those shots. And they're not easy off a screen running jumpers. Pinihingi ng tres yung Alaska pero sabi ni referee Cruz hindi nakatapak. Cat and mouse play between Ravenna and Kenneth Durendez and Durendez turns out to be the cat. 65-60. Five-point lead para sa Moby Line. Ali Peak. Parang naubos itong mobile line. Oo nga eh, parang all the bullets were, uh, you know, all the ammo was used up in the first three quarters. And so far, no, only five points ka lang ang sila in the fourth quarter. And we already have 3.52 left in this game. Alaska Aces versus the Moby Line phone pals. Sa kasalukuyan po, lamang ng Alaska ng lima. 65 to 60. 3 minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the game. Alam mo, partner, one thing also not going the way from Moby Line is tumigil na yung steals nila eh. Oh. Wala nang turnovers ang Alaska, which is what we mentioned earlier. Defense of Alaska has been there. They've been giving Mobiline a difficult time. Even though Mobiline has led throughout this game, their field goal percentage never broke the 40% uh -huh. level. Uh -huh. 
So, yung half court set nila, hindi ganun ka-reliable eh. Kaya lang sila lumamang dahil sa mga fast break. At nung nawala na yun, eto na. Dumating yung outside shooting ng Alaska. Now, we're enjoying the six-point lead. Tapos, medyo nahinto na rin yung mga turnovers ng Alaska, eh, no ha? Oo. Kanina, that really did them in. Imagine at the end of the third, Alaska had already made 22 turnovers. At dito, mga kaibigan, pinakamalaking kalamangan ng Alaska, 7 points at 67 to 60. When it was Mobilan, who led by as many as 12 points a couple of times, maybe several times, in this game. Tamaso began to mira, mahina. And those are, not, those are not good shots now oh. for Mobilan. I mean, earlier, when Don Tamaso was hot, he was hitting everything oh. he put up. No? Pero ngayon, walang movement sa kanila. Isolation, a difficult outside shot, and no rebounders in position. And it does again at Gremdes. Getting around the pick by Ali P. Uh, outside for Alaska. Papa de Dance James Wampus, the Don Aliado. Sa ato mga higala, din ha sa kabisaya na Ugsa Mindanao, maayong gabi, kanin yung tanan ng atong uh, PBA karong gabi na. Migikan dire sa Inara Center sa Antipolo City. Ang inyong mga alagad, Ed Pixon, uh, si TJ Manotok, uh, missed by Eric Ray from three-point country, picked up by Jerome Ejercito. Ejercito on the three-on-three, three, and he says, wait a minute. He said, tapo ni Jerome Ejercito. Pili ito kumakawalawa. Kumakawala, ito si uh, Don Tabaso against Eric Reyes. Well, Eric's been doing a pretty decent defensive job against Kamaso. He's trying to be posting him up pero pinutulok na itong si Eric si Kamaso tuloy when he starts his isolation. Malayo pinapanggalingin niya sa wing. Kaya medyo hirap siya doon sa pag-takeoff niya. Maka Oh. Two shots here for Don Kamaso. 67-61 Alaska by 6. Don Camaso has 18 points so far in this game. Oy. Aliado. Here's Arrigo. Drop oh, oh, pick. What a day for slam. Face your fears and live your dreams. Get out of the way. Anting di naman on. Woo. Tabantala Camaso. You want to be able to uh, lift uh, their team up. Uh, they're currently at uh, second to the last place. No? At ninth with two wins and four losses. Alaska's three and four. But remember, Alaska is coming uh, out of a back-to-back -back, uh, situation, a win-win -win situation. It means that young winning is a, a habit. Uh -huh. You develop a habit for it. Wong Ravenna. Ejercito back to Ravenna at the corner. Because wow. that one has a three point shot. PLDT IDB long distance shot by Bong Ravenna. That's the lead down to two. And well, I'm pretty sure that's definitely not the shot they wanted. A tough shot at that. But you know, Bong Ravenna, you know, time and again, he's shown that he can make oh. that shot. Most oh. this game, no? Less than a minute to go. Just a three point lead by Alaska. Here's Ali Pink against Jericho Diner and Big Pablo. Delabasca carried the Rodriguez Arrigo. Momentarily open at the baseline. That was a foul. Ooh. It's going to go against Camaso. So, what happened there, partner? The shot clock was down to one second. And oh. it goes back to 14 since wala pang not have a mobile. Come on, Pedro. See, Coach Louis Alas and see Arik Del Rosario. Para yung nakapamewang. Nga. Bakit naman ganon, sabi nila? <laughs> well, the referees have been strict as it is pagdating sa hand check, no? Oh. The slightest hand check you have, as you see, that big Bong three Ravena, oh. at Bong Ravenna from the corner. 42 segundos po ang naralabi sa ating uh, laro. Two-point lead by Alaska. We have a full timeout. Alright, 42 uh, segundos na po na sa larong ito. Shot clock of Alaska has been reset to 14 seconds. Lamang po ng dalawang puntos ang Alaska over Mobiline, 71-69. Mobiline in the penalty situation. Alaska has one foul to give. Magandang kapi po ang muli sa lahat ng ating mga suki na bayan ng superstars. Ed Pixon po lamang kasama si TJ Manoto para sa larong ito. Sinabi natin magiging kapanapan na may kapagkatapos. 
Pina tunayan na naman po yan ng dalawang kumpanang ito. Arigo has it. Spread out play here by Alaska. Ali Peak against Jericho Dinera. Oh, oh, what up, Alvarez? Ni Jericho Dinera. Wow. Specialty of the house. Just when you were mentioning na talagang medyo dihado si Jerry sa poste kalaban oh. si Ali Peak. Pero pag ganun, kapag nag-fade away itong si Ali at hindi niya ba magkain si Jerry, matatiming nga ni Jerry yan. Ito talagang super na siya pa. Dito. Bola-bola kung sarsa. Yeah. Yun nga nangyari, walang oh. bangga. Hindi binangga ni Ali, so hindi na off balance si Jerry. 26 seconds to go. Nangangamoy. Nangangamoy po dito sa Inari Center. Nangangamoy overtime. <laughs> Kaya, ito. Uy. Well, that's the foul that they had to give. So nangyari, shot lock actually. It was at 14, so it stays at 14. So fifth personal on John Arigo. Bong Ravenna has it. Up to Camaso at the corner against Eric Reyes. Camaso, oh, there's a foul! Oh. Oh. Montic. <laughs> 13 seconds left in the game, and Camaso will go to the line for two. It's a good call for Coach uh, Louis Alas. Now go to the guy who's the hot, the hot hand. Oh. Medyo lumamig lang ng konti of late, pero the whole game has been pretty hot. Got a good line there, pero medyo mahina lang dahil na... Kaldag na siya ni Kenneth Duremde. So two shots could make it a tight ball game with 30, 13 seconds to go. And Tomaso makes the first. 71 to 70. 13 segundos po na lalabi. Pareho nang nasa penalty itong dalawang kumpo nang ito. One more shot for Tomaso. And Alaska still has a timeout to call, so whether he makes this or not, we'll call it for sure. Good. Very calmly, Don Tomaso ties the ball game. At 71, 13 seconds to go. Sino ang mala sa 13? Eh, eh mala naman mala natin kung Alaska or Mobileye. After this timeout. <laughs> okay. Then, Ali, what I want you to do... All right, ito po ang sitwasyon. Ito nga, maybe 13 segundos sa lang. Ano na lang right. sa ating game clock. Dito po sa labanan ng Dark Alaska Milk at ng Mobileye. Well, Alaska Aces at the Mobileye Phone Pals. It is a tight ball game at 71 all. Sa Alaska po ang bola, pareho na sa penalty na ang dalawang kapulan. Well, that's a, that's a big thing here. No? They're both in penalty. So Alaska has to take the ball straight to the hoop. When you get the ball inside, I'm pretty sure they're going to go to Kenneth Durham. This either in isolation or maybe a pick and roll with Ali Peak and have Arigo on the weak side just in case the defense sags inside. As you look at the game reset, only one full timeout left. And it's for the phone pass, and both teams are in the penalty. That's brought to you by Quick Tight, the all-in-one glue technology by Loctite. Ito na mga kapatid, walang hihinga. Closing 13 seconds of the game, tied at 71. And it is Kenneth Duremdes against Don Camaso and Bong Ravena. Hinahabol si Duremdes. He's still. Jordi Santos, six seconds to go. Arrigo is open! Yeah! And what happened? <laughs> wow, wow, wait a second. The referee is calling happening. it out of bounds to Pero the... Pala titira? Well, I don't know. Oh my God, you're Pero kidding. Parao. Kasi nangyari, si Ravena daw nakatapak sa sideline nung binali ball hit niya yung bola. So that should be still two seconds left. For Alaska to take a shot. Every crew is calling that. Wow, what a mental lapse. So, sabi ni Coach Tim Cole, ilan daw? Three seconds? At least that's more than two, for sure. I, I saw it as three. So, ito. Meron po parang oras na natin tira. Tira natin sa slow-mo, ha? Kung ano nangyari dito. Ayan, five seconds to go. The, si Arigo. the ball bounces in the court still. But Ravenna saves it. And apparently, he had his foot on the line. When he yeah, touched the ball. Two, oh, a little so, over 2.5. 2.5. Oh. Oh, so, Angati Book. You know, it, now they have to run the clock down. So, what? Yeah. 71 all po ang ating score. At uh, magkakaroon pa po ng dalawang segundo or so, or so. But the thing is, walang timeout dito ang Alaska. So, in fact, ang nangyari, dahil sa pag-reset ng oras, they were starting from 5, they have to run it down because the scoreboard right. here isn't that high-tech. So, Alaska has time to make a play.